National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health reports that while many people worry about lead in their homes or in their environment, for some the workplace may offer the greatest potential for exposure. Lead is a toxic heavy metal. It can be combined with other metals to produce alloys. Lead and lead alloys are often used to make batteries, ammunition, and other metal products. In the past, lead was also regularly used in fuel, paint, ceramics, caulk, pipes, and solder, among other things. Due to potential health issues from exposure, the amount of lead used in these products today has lessened or has been removed. Though used less often, NIOSH reports that lead is still common in many industries, including construction, mining, and manufacturing. In these and other industries, workers can be at risk of being exposed to lead by breathing it, ingesting it, or coming into contact with it. NIOSH provides the following information for workers about how lead exposure can occur. Workers can be exposed by breathing in lead fumes or lead dust. Lead fumes are produced during metal processing when metal is being heated or soldered. Lead dust is produced when metal is being cut or when lead paint is sanded or removed. Lead fumes and lead dust do not have an odor, so workers may not know they are being exposed. Lead dust can settle on food, water, clothes, and other objects. If a worker eats, drinks, or smokes in areas where lead is being processed or stored, they could ingest it. Not washing one's hands before eating or touching one's mouth are also ways it could be ingested. Workers can also be exposed by coming into contact with lead dust. Some studies have found lead can be absorbed through skin. Workers that handle lead and then touch their eyes, nose, or mouth could be exposed. Lead dust can also get on clothes and hair. If this happens, it's possible that a worker could track home some of the lead dust, which may also expose their family. These are just a few things to know about lead exposure risks in the work environment. To learn more about this or other occupational, indoor air quality, health, safety, or property issues, please visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.